Hey guys, today we're going to talk a little bit about reloading Mac OS X onto an older Macintosh computer. I've had this Mac G5 for quite a while. I think it was released in about 2006. It's been running pretty sluggishly lately. I want to restore the operating system, but there's no built-in way to do that on this computer. You have to reload the operating system from a disk, or in our case, we're going to attempt today to reload the operating system from a USB drive made bootable. Now another reason that you might want to reinstall the operating system is in the event that you'd be interested in selling this computer. You'd want to get all your documents and your programs and all of your personal information off the computer before you sold it and made sure that it was fresh and ready to go for the new owner. So you're going to need to format this thumb drive using the disk utility to OSX extended format. Now in addition to this thumb drive, you're also going to need a copy of the version of Mac OSX that you want to install. In our case, we're going to be using OSX Leopard since this is a non-Intel based Mac G5 and we're limited to upgrading only to version 10.5.8. If you have an Intel based Mac, you can, you can upgrade to a much higher version than that. The first thing we need to do is insert the USB thumb drive into the computer and open the disk utility. Now you'll get a message saying that the USB thumb drive cannot be initialized. That's simply because of the format. We'll take care of that in a minute. Now you're going to want to click on the partition of the thumb drive and then you're going to want to go to the Erase tab. Under the Volume Format drop-down, you're going to want to choose Mac OS Extended. And then for the disk name, you can choose whatever you want. Now erasing and formatting the drive could take a while, so we're just going to wait for it to finish here. Now that appears to be complete. Okay, so one other thing that you need to consider when you're formatting this drive to be able to make it bootable, right click on the thumb drive mounted, click the get info option. Now at the bottom of this window, there's a sharing and permission section. Go ahead and expand that section. And at the very bottom, you'll see an item titled ignore ownership on this volume. We want to uncheck that. To be able to do that, you have to click the lock. You'll be prompted to enter your admin password and then you'll be able to unselect that item. Now to save that setting, go ahead and click the lock again and your setting is saved. This is very important or it will not mount the thumb drive. You'll get the circle with the slash through it. In order to load the disk image onto the USB thumb drive, we're going to have to have the disk image mounted onto the desktop of the Mac. Right now I'm copying that file from an external location onto the desktop. So this file is almost 7 gigabytes in size, so it's going to take a while to copy. I hope you packed a lunch because you're going to be here for a while. Okay, now that that's done, we want to open the disk utility. We want to double click the uh, .dmg file so we can mount it, verifying. In the disk utility, we want to choose the name of the partition that you just created in the previous step. Now you get two choices. You get the source and you get the destination. You want to drag the mounted Mac OS X install DVD to the source and then drag the USB drive that you mounted earlier to the destination and then click restore. It will ask you if you know that you're gonna overwrite all the data on the destination volume. We're gonna hit restore. Gonna ask for the password for your login password and then it will begin copying the files. Now this is gonna take between 20 minutes to an hour. Uh, this is an older machine so it's probably gonna take quite a bit longer, probably at least an hour. So now we wait again. Okay, now that's complete. We have a bootable thumb drive that contains the Mac OS X install disk. Now what we need to do is restart the computer, making sure to hold down the option key on the keyboard, and once we get a menu of items to choose from, we'll choose the Mac install DVD option. So we've hit a little snag. Whenever I rebooted the machine, pressing down the option key, to get the bootable devices, the USB drive was not listed in the list of devices, only the main hard drive. So what I've done now is I've entered the open firmware command console by restarting and pressing command, option, O, and F. And the first thing I wanted to type was dev alias. And this will show me all of the devices that are currently attached to this computer. Now there's an item, second one from the bottom, called UD. And what this is, is the USB stick that I want to boot from. So now that we know that it's seeing our USB device, we want to boot from that USB device. And to do that, the command that we run is boot space UD colon comma slash slash colon 
TBXI. Enter. From there, it started to boot off my USB thumb drive just fine. And now I'm at the install screen. From here, you'll be asked to select your language, get the Mac OS X Leopard installer welcome screen. I'm gonna go ahead and press continue. We get the licensing agreement. I'm going to press agree. I'm going to select the main drive for the location to install the operating system. Since I already have an existing operating system on this hard drive, it's gonna make me select to overwrite the old one by pressing the options button. So I'm gonna select erase and install from this option. Format disk as Mac OS X extended journaled and then I'm gonna hit the OK button. Now it should let me hit the continue button. It's giving me an install summary. Everything looks good, but I'm gonna go ahead and press install. Now it's calculating the time remaining. I have a feeling it's gonna be longer than I'm gonna to wanna to sit here with the camera rolling. We'll get back to it once the installation has finished. Okay, success. We have completed the installation and the computer restarted. It played a cool little OS X intro and we're ready to set up our account now. All right, so I've completed the registration form. Now it's setting up the computer. And there we go. It's a clean install of Mac OS X 10.5. So there you have it. A fresh install of Mac OS X 10.5 on my old G5 computer. It was a little bit of work, but it's worth it in the end to see the improvement with a fresh OS install or to make it ready for the next owner. Thank you for watching.